Hello, welcome to our question practice session for CSIR NET. In this video, we'll talk about 10 questions and solve that in 10 minutes. All of these questions are about microscopy, which falls under CSIR unit 13. You can revise these concepts of microscopy using my entire unit 13 playlist. A link is in the description, also in the i button. If you want a quick book link, you can use Pathfinder book as a resource, especially biophysics and molecular biology part of this book set would be useful for your revision. The Wilson and Walker book can also be useful if you have a lot of time. Anyway, you can revise the concept using the biophysics and molecular biology book and you can practice many other questions using these two MCQ books and especially the previous year papers would give you an idea that what type of difficulty level is asked in the examination. Anyway, this video is strictly based on the difficulty levels that can be asked in CSIR net. Let's begin the video. Which of the following can't be done using confocal microscopy? A. Studying protein localization. B. Studying cell division in real time. C. Checking vesicular transport. And D. Analyzing the ultrastructure of DNA. If you guessed it correctly, the proper answer is option D. Analyzing ultrastructure of DNA or ultrastructure of any biomolecule is not possible with any light microscopy technique. It is possible with cryo-electron microscopy, NMR spectroscopy or extra crystallography. Question number two says, in order to visualize a neuron which is situated at a one millimeter depth from the brain surface, a neuroscientist should use which of the following microscopy technique? Differential interference contrast, two photon imaging, confocal microscopy, super resolution microscopy. And the correct option here will be two photon microscopy. If you want to learn more about this, you can find them in the I button. Which of the following can't be done using a confocal microscopy? So this kind of application oriented questions are very common in CSIR net. A. Studying protein localization. B. Studying cell division in real time. C. Checking gene expression changes. D. Measuring conformational change of a protein. If you understood the question correctly, correct answer is D. Conformational change of the protein can be done or can be analyzed using spectroscopy method, for example, circular dichroism spectroscopy, for example, NMR spectroscopy, but not using confocal microscopy. Checking gene expression is possible. You might get confused with the option C, but let me tell you that checking gene expression with microscopy technique is possible using the reporter assays. Again, if you want to learn more about reporter assay, click on the link in the I button. DNA structure can be studied with which of the following technique? These kind of questions are very common. Confocal microscopy, two photon microscopy, differential interference contrast microscopy, or all of the above. As I have mentioned earlier, none of these light microscopy technique can be utilized to understand the structure of any biomolecule. So obviously all of the above is the correct answer. Question number five says, which of the following microscopy technique relies on the specimen interfering with the wavelength of light to produce a high contrast image without the need of dyes or any damage to the sample? Conventional bright field light microscopy, phase contrast microscopy, electron microscopy, and fluorescence microscopy. Correct answer is phase contrast microscopy. What factors improve image quality in confocal microscope in comparison with fluorescence microscopy? Using a pinhole, using laser as an illumination source, using fluorescence light, and option D says both A and B. The correct answer is option D, both A and B. If you want a detailed explanation of confocal microscopy, click on the I button right now. Which of the following statement regarding confocal microscopy is true? The microscopy technique utilize a pinhole to cancel out out of focus lights. It use laser based illumination system. The specimen plane is confocal. That means in the same focal plane with the pinhole. And option D says all of the above. The correct answer will be as you have guessed it correctly, all of the above. Question number eight says which of the following is which of the following regarding two photon microscopy is false. The imaging depth in two photon microscopy is achieved by the usage of pinhole. It uses infrared lasers which are less phototoxic to live specimen. 
Option C, this is suitable for imaging thick specimens. And option D, the microscopy uses fem to second pulse laser. Correct answer is A. Question number 9. Which of the following statement about fluorescence microscope is wrong? It can be used to study live biological specimen. Mercury arc lamp is used in the scope as a light source. The image in the micros fluorescence microscopy technique are always sharp and never blurry. Emitted fluorescence light has a higher wavelength compared to the excitation light. Correct answer is option C. Question 10. Which of the following microscopy technique does not use principle of fluorescence? Confocal microscopy, two photon microscopy, FRAP and phase contrast microscopy. If you know the answer or guessed it properly, put it in the comment. Want more questions like this? You can find a link in the description. Whenever I upload more questions regarding these topics, it would be in the description box only. Anyway, you can get a lot of notes, flashcards in my Facebook channel. Also follow me on Instagram. All the links are in the description. You can support my channel by clicking on the super thanks option in the bottom right corner of any video. Alternatively, you can support me via Patreon or you can support me using PayPal, Vibeam or any other kind of UPI app. All the UPI QR code is provided here. You can get in touch with me with my social media handles which are provided in the description. See you in next video.